guys and welcome back to Art à la carte and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw your very own My Little Pony. Well, not the kind of My Little Pony that you're thinking of, the original My Little Pony. And not even the ones that came out in the 1980s which was the original Hasbro My Little Pony. I mean like a real pony, like a Shetland, like a real horse, like meh kind of horse, yeah. Let's draw one of those. Horses, dogs, cats, and dragons are the top requested video subjects um, for this channel. And, and so I love doing them, um, but I've never done a pony before. Well, I've done a couple of my, my Little Pony Hasbro, My Little Pony videos, but um, haven't done an actual pony. So I thought, let's go super um, pony-ish. And I went and looked at some reference photos of ponies and found one that is absolutely adorable. So I'm actually going to put the reference photo of the pony that I was looking at, Bam, right here, so you guys can take a peek at that. So he's super cute. He has like hardly no legs. So let's take this drawing and change that into kind of a cartoon character pony of our own. So let's start off with our head circles here. I'm going to start off with one circle here for the head and then a smaller circle for the muzzle. So it's going to kind of make this rounded triangle shape right here. And that's for his little head. So his ears are going to go up here and his eye right there, but we'll get into that in detail in a minute. And then we're going to start with a nice large circle for his shoulders. And I'm not going to give him a really big long neck. I want him to be short and kind of stubby a little bit. So nice big chest in comparison, nice thick neck. And then I'm going to give him just a really big belly and then another circle for his rump. He's just going to be a round roly-poly little pony. And you can see I'm drawing really loosely. I'm, I'm not worried about that perfect line for line drawing here. Um, so if your lines are not coming up exactly like mine, that's okay because um, my lines are just kind of all over the place. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put his legs in here. So his legs start up here with the shoulder come down, and almost immediately as they come off of here is his little kneecaps. <laughs> I don't even, I would love to see a picture of this pony walking. So cute. So he has his little leg here, but he's just so short and stubby. There's his knee, and then comes right into this tiny little hoof right here. Boop. And then here's another one. And you'll see when I'm drawing this, that this back leg here, I'm not drawing these hoofs on the same level line. See, here's this line here and this one here. Because as things get farther away from you when you're drawing, you're going to draw them higher up on the paper. So this leg here, because I want to push it back a little bit, I'm going to have it end a little bit higher. So it's going to be just a little bit smaller so that I can end it a little bit higher on the paper. Then we have his roly-poly little belly. And then his back leg. So here's his back hips coming down here to his knee, coming back to the back part of his leg, coming down. And again, I want this leg to be on this line here. So his cute little tiny little hoof right there. Right there. And then I want this, this last leg here to be on this line here. So I'm going to start off with this hoof there and that will help me to know between here and here I've got to get that drawn in there. So boom, there's the other part of his little leg right there. Then I'm going to put in his tail and I've had a lot of people requesting um, how do I draw horse tails? Well, I did a tutorial or several tutorials on drawing horse manes and it works, the same method works for tails. You're going to draw these out as the actual shape. So he's got a nice long fluffy tail. And then over here I'm going to put in his mane. And his mane is just nice and shaggy and that's where the kind of the fun of this cartoon could be um, is just really getting this really nice and shaggy Coming all the way down here. And then his forelock which is the hair that comes out between his ears and I'm going to have this be super long and shaggy kind of covering up his eyes so you can't even see his eyes and just have these tiny little ears poking out. There's one, there's two. So he's just a shaggy little pony. It's so cute. <laughs> and his feet, blah, blah, blah. And some shaggy little hair right in there. 
So once you have everything drawn out the way that you want it, um, you can go ahead and finish it up, you can clean it up, make your lines all clean, um, or you can go ahead and take a pen and begin to ink him in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a 01 micron pen here, and I'm just going to go ahead and ink him in really quickly here. I get into inking in his fur because I really want that nice shaggy look. I'm not going to draw a line, I'm going to draw wisps coming and kind of connect them a little bit. But the wisps are going to represent kind of the sh shagginess of his little fur. Go into his little muzzle right there. His cute little nostril. And again, for his underbelly here, just wisps coming down. just a couple little texture lines around him just to kind of give him just a little bit of texture add a little bit of shading down here push that leg back shading on this one to push that leg back Maybe a little bit of shading underneath his mane shading behind there remember anywhere you add some dark it's going to push that back So once you have your pony the way you like him and he's all inked in, give it a couple minutes to dry, otherwise you might smear your ink, but when you think it's dried enough, go ahead and take your eraser and erase the lines you don't need anymore. I'm going to use some um, horizontal lines, little side to side lines just to kind of give a little shadow underneath him so he's not a little flying Pegasus pony <laughs> with no wings. Though that would be stinking adorable to put some cute little Pegasus wings on him. So, hey, I did this once before. I do a really cute little turtle, and then I challenged you guys to make a little baby teenage min ninja turtle. Well, if you guys draw this cute little Shetland pony, I have a challenge to make him either a little unicorn pony or a Pegasus pony, or even better, an alicorn pony, but keep him still his short, cute, fuzzy little self, and uh, send me a picture. You can send it to my Facebook page or Instagram, or or I love getting them in the mail, so I have my P.O. Box information down below. Um, of course, you can also make him just an earth pony. So cute! Or put a little cutie mark on him. You could have some fun. I mean, yeah, the possibilities are endless with this cute little guy keeping him just realistic or having some super fun making him fun and cartoony. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!